Hi, I'm Ashikur Rahman. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll teach you how to calculate capital. This is very common and basic in accounting. So when students get these questions in exam, often they are confused. Now I'll show you how easily you can calculate capital. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, look at the question here uh, farah had the following assets and liabilities on 1st may 2015. so these are the assets and liabilities given in the question and what is the what is the requirement calculate for us capital okay so you need to extract capital from these items by the way this question is uh, actually taken from cambridge o level accounting past papers okay so let us uh, do it you know accounting equation assets equal to assets equal to capital plus liabilities yeah Okay, that means your your uh, capital and liability will be equal to to the asset of the business. Okay, so here in this question we have assets, we have some assets, we have some liabilities. Now we need to extract this capital. This is a question mark. Okay, here. So first of all, we need to extract. We need to calculate our assets. So what are the assets here? We have assets here, so write assets. What is our asset? Our asset is inventory, inventory which is 2850. Okay, this is our asset, and trade receivables also asset, trade receivables. You know there are two types of asset one is current asset one is non-current asset so trade receivable is a current asset okay so what is the value here 600 dollars so do you have any more assets here you can see any more assets here yes if you say that you have one more asset motor vehicle you are correct so right here motor vehicle motor vehicle Okay, what is the price? 4500 here. Yeah. So we have no more assets in this question. Now you check how much your total assets. Okay, so if you calculate your asset will be here uh, 7950 is your asset. Okay, so now we need to calculate our liabilities yeah so all liabilities equal to equal to other payables yeah it's a current liability payables how much it is two hundred dollars okay then we have bank loan yeah so you know loans are non-current liability so what is it five thousand dollars so we don't all this just this one left bank so what is bank bank is an asset yeah yeah but here is written that with the value credit okay when you have the word credit with the value of bank then you have to consider this bank as a liability it is a bank overdraft business has the credit balance of bank that means it's a bank overdraft and bank overdraft is a liability yeah it's a current liability so right here bank overdraft bank overdraft 
okay it is 450 dollars okay you have no more liabilities okay these are the liabilities you are given in the question so if you add these three your amount will be your sum will be 5650 okay this is the total so you have to you have asset which is 7950 you have liabilities uh, uh, which is uh, 5650 so look at the accounting equation now asset equal to capital plus liability so we got our asset if we uh, write this value here in this equation what comes see asset equal to capital plus liability yeah you got asset which is seven thousand nine hundred fifty dollars equal to your capital is not given you need to calculate capital you have liability which is five thousand six hundred fifty okay now if you subtract 7950 minus 5650 equal to your capital okay so if we subtract how much comes yeah if you say it is 2300 you are correct so this is your capital okay very easy to calculate just you need to know the accounting equation okay so uh, this is all about our uh, our today's lesson i hope you understood how to calculate capital and you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for more new videos and share this lesson with your friends see you soon bye bye take care